Okay, this is the how-to that I've been meaning to get to on how to get dual recording and slow motion playback set up for uh, Kenovia. Uh, you'll need Kenovia version 0 0.8.15. The other versions will not work. Um, well, the newer versions will not work. Uh, you also need VLC Media Player. Uh, I think any of the newer versions will do. Uh, audio Zone Trigger. Also, um, you'll need to download my auto it script. And uh, a couple of settings that we need to do after you get everything installed. Let's go to Kenovia first. We'll go to Options, Preferences. Um, under General, uh, the only thing I changed is speed unit to miles per hour, but I don't know that this actually does anything for our purposes. Uh, under Playback, Everything is pretty much default. Now under drawings, you'll want to check this show drawings when video is playing. You'll also want to go to persistence and check enable persistence and also check always visible. That way you can go back and load your videos in Kenobi and draw lines and whatnot. Under capture, under general, you'll want to set your video directory appropriately uh, for your computer. Mine is under b colon swing underscore videos. I've also changed my video format to mp4 um, from the default of mkv um, just because I like mp4 better. Under file naming tab you'll want to check free text with automatic counter uh, because my script does a few things with the uh, naming. Also under memory, you'll just want to make sure you slide this slider all the way to the right so that you get 10, 24 megabytes of memory allocated to capture buffers. You'll hit save. Then you'll go here and hit the to capture screen button. It'll pull up one of your cameras and you'll just want to make sure that you're running at the correct resolution and frames per, se frames per second. Um, Set up the second camera by clicking this button here. And select the second camera. Hit apply. Uh, you also want to make sure, again, resolution in frames per second is correct. Then you want to adjust the live delay slider to about three, three and a half seconds. I like to set mine to right around three and a half. All right, and then let's go to VLC under Tools and Preferences. Uh, we'll go to Simple. Buddy, oh, that's my phone. Can Daddy have his phone, please? Thank you. No, no. Give me back. Oh, buddy, your nose is all kinds of mess. Come here. Come here. I, I know. I know. My one-year-old's a little sick, and I'm also uh, a little under the weather, but uh, I was going to hit some balls if he wouldn't let me, because he woke up from his nap. Anyway, under Simple Preferences, there's a couple things we want to make sure it's set. Um, first one is this Resize Interface to Video Size. Make sure that's unchecked. Uh, the next thing is Show SysTray Icon. Make sure that's unchecked. Um, and then under Playlist and Instances, we want to uncheck Allow Only One Instance because we want to have two and save and then here we just want to make sure that our um, loop is set so we want to play this back hi Ethan alright so then we'll just want to drag VLC to Okay, you can wake up. 
um, we want to drag it to a location where it won't be annoying when it pops up because my script will open it and it will open wherever you last closed it and then my script will reposition it on top of Kenobia. So let's go to audio zone trigger. Uh, first thing you do here, well if you haven't activated it, um, bought the license and activated it, it will not work. Um, won't do anything. But once you do, you can select your audio input device. And we want my cheap Logitech microphone. And then you want to... Ezzy, where are you going, bud? <clears throat> you want to hit the add button. You'll want to under action select run file then you want to browse to wherever you downloaded my script to and I put mine under d colon slash recording dual and then under optional parameters you will want to put the parameters that work for your setup so for me these are the parameters that work. Um, the big thing is um, the video format. So if you've selected MP4, then you'll need that here. Um, if you've left yours at MKV, this needs to say MKV. Um, and then under your video directory in Kenovia, it needs to match whatever it says there and whatever it says here. So uh, for mine, it's d colon slash swing underscore videos. You hit OK. Then you'll see the uh, sensitivity. So these yellow lines show where the trigger will be. So let's set it a little closer. And it'll depend on how close your microphone is to your impact location. And that is it. That's all you need to do. And then you can hit a ball. <clears throat> Let's see if I can hit a ball. Alright guys. Daddy's going to hit a ball. You need to move. Ethan, back up. Daddy. Daddy's going to try to hit a ball. Hey, Ethan, take your, take your truck over that way. What? You're going to drive it. Ezzy, come here. Why don't you eat? Add a ball over here. Come here. Come here, Ezzy. Okay. So wherever Kenovia is, my script will pull up two VLC windows to go on top of Canovia. <sighs> okay. Maybe I'll make it very sensitive. Ethan, you gotta move, bud. Ethan. Ethan, you can't be right in front. You gotta move. Off to the side, please. Ethan, right now. Or you're gonna have to go inside. Let's see if I can hit this loud enough to make it trigger. Oh. Okay. Well, that won't do. All right, so it works. Four here. Let's have a nice, clean drive. And that's all you have to do. Um, typically, I have my Kenovia on my secondary monitor, and uh, TGC is full screen on the projector, and the recordings pop up over top of Kenovia on my secondary monitor and just stay there.
Um, there is another script uh, that's modified to put the playback on top of the primary monitor and uh, there's a parameter you can set to uh, tell it to switch back to your original window after a set amount of time or you can have it just stay there until you hit another ball. Um, I use that for when I take lessons and uh, I do it online with an instructor and I uh, find it very helpful to have the uh, playback on the screen so he can see my swing in slow motion. But, um, but if you guys need any help, you can hit me up on the forum. Hopefully that, that helps you guys. All right.